boardwalk, man, it's super hot, I tell you guys, yeah. man. It's like 12 o'clock, and I don't think I should be out this time, but I gotta, yeah. I gotta explore, man, because that's what we're about to explore. Oh my god, I see a Jollibee over there. I think I'm gonna go to Jollibee right now. The heat right here, the heat, the manila heat, the Philippines heat, man, is ridiculously hot, man. Como esta cayo? Ako si Kevin. Mabuha, my friends. Mabuha, my friends. Yo, what's going on, guys? So uh, I got a message on Facebook. Um, apparently, one of you guys, well, some of you guys want me to check out my video I did, my first impressions of Manila. So I figured, you know what? Let me do that video and I'll do a breakdown of every moment, like what I thought and what was going through my head in that specific moment, all right? So we're about to get into that video, but before we get into the video, guys, give the video a big thumbs up right now, man, it helps me out a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button, turn that post notification bells on, and yeah, let's get into this video, man. So it's going to be fun, okay? It's going to be hot. what I thought about when I first came to Manila, well, Philippines. Good morning, Manila. It's your boy, Kevo, and we're about to head off on an adventure. We're in Manila, you know, first day in Manila, and... I'm hella hungry, man. So I gotta go out. Get oh my me some god, meat. that intro is awful. Some adventure for me to do today. I don't know what I'm doing today. I didn't know I what I was stuff. doing here. So anyways, let's get going, man. Let's go. Okay, here we go. It's okay. I thought this was super cool when I found this in the hotel I was staying at. It was a whole like Marvel kind of theme, and I loved it. Like superhero themed, said Marvel. Yeah. Trying to be cinematic right here. Cinematic. Well, Can I see the cinematic videos? This is what they have right here. This is what they have. There is. They don't have that. They got beef tapa and hot dogs. That's what they got right now. And apple. Orange juice. So I'm gonna try that out for the first time and see what I think of my first meal in Manila. Breakfast. This was actually my first All meal right, in Manila. Manila. Okay, right here, what's going through my head right here? I, I was like, yo, they don't give me enough rice. I feel like when they brought the plate out, I wanted more food. I was like, this is it? I wanted more. Like, I was honestly hungry that morning. The night, I, I kind of went a bit hungry. I didn't eat that much. So the, in the morning, I really want something to eat. I'm in Manila right now. I am trying to get to this damn boardwalk. I want to check and see if I can see. And just let you guys know, this was Metro Manila. I know. I was surprised till after you guys actually told me that BGC was a much nicer place to visit. So I probably should have went to BGC first. But anyways, I still enjoy myself in the middle of it. Let's, let's keep watching right now. Nice drone shots. I don't know if you're allowed to fly drones. Like, oh, the chimney kind of surprised me when they passed by. I didn't expect that. I'm like, what is that? When he ran by me there, I didn't expect. That. I'm like, what is that? I would think it would have like regular, like those big buses. Like most places have the big buses in Canada. We have big buses. We have trains. And so that kind of surprised me. How people got on and got off at the chimney. That really surprised me. Comment down below if you're allowed to fly drones in the I, I don't know. And if I get like caught or fined. Oh, worse, take my drone away. I'm gonna actually cry because I was actually gonna cry if I lost my drone. Lose my drone on the first day, that would suck. But anyways, man, let's keep going through Manila. So far, I'm enjoying it. The heat's kind of a, it's really hot, man. I tell you that it's really hot. So anyways, the city line was beautiful, man. That's one thing. Pushing the past again, no. You know my little triggers keep on triggering them all. I thought it was cool. I've had enough of this. Oh, our timeline's getting worse. I could tell my vlogging skills were not the best. I love this shot right here, man. This shot is beautiful. I got jerked it a little bit because I was too used to using the drone yet, but it was a beautiful shot. This over there, man, that was pretty cool. I had no idea what the hell I was saying right here. Right here, I had no idea. I was just talking and saying anything that came to mind. Like the statue was built by the sailors. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know, but walking down this boardwalk, man, it's super hot. I tell you guys, yeah. man. It's like 12 o'clock, and I don't think I should be out this time, but I gotta, yeah. I gotta explore, man, because that's what we're about to explore. Oh my god, I see a Jolly Bee over there. I think I'm gonna go to Jolly Bee right now. 
the heat right here, the heat, the manila heat, the Philippines heat, man, is ridiculously hot, man. No one warned me about this. I felt I went. I shouldn't have went out at twelve because that's when the sun's out the most. I should probably wait until like the evening or something to go out. I don't know what told me to go out at like twelve in the afternoon, and then like that heat just hit me down. And when I saw that Jolly Bee, I got so excited. I'm like, oh my god, there's gonna be air condition, air con, air con. Yeah. It did taste size. flat, a little bit. The burger, man. It's the yum yum burger. Yeah, you guys been making watch a lot of these commercials. I'm finally get, actually gonna eat the yum yum burger. The burgers were it was kind of small, man. I think I ordered maybe like three of them off camera. Looks kind of like a cheeseburger from back home in the McDonald's. Mm. There's a lot of cheese on this. It's a lot. But it's not. It, it's good. It's good cheese. The best part about this, it, it was only 89, 89 pesos. Yeah, that's what I thought. So when you do the conversion, that's like three dollars, three dollars Canadian. Yeah, I thought that was really cheap. That was really good for the whole meal. Definitely better than McDonald's because you get, you get a drink with it. That was here. really good. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy eating this, and we can do the vlog after. Yeah, the Jitneys surprised me. I don't know what the hell I'm filming the wires for. I'm trying to be cinematic. I'm feeling my <laughs> feeling my feet like what? And I just put a random time lapse. I just thought it'd be cool to put a random time lapse here. Check it out, man. I don't know what it's for. I'm looking like a plate, but I can't find like a plaque telling me or anything telling me what it is. I wonder what the hell is this? Looks pretty dope. Man, I gotta <laughs> say, I don't know how you guys drive around here, man, without getting so much accidents. Because I see people driving so close, man. Yeah. And you guys are not getting accidents, man. You guys also know how to drive. Holy shit. If that was me, I'd be terrified to drive here. Like, honestly, I was planning on buying a, like a rental scooter, but I ain't doing that anymore. Look, look just now. This guy like went super close to me. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, damn. I remember going to the Philippines for the first time, man. And I didn't know how people get, don't get in that many accidents in the Philippines, man. Just because people were cutting people off, man. Their bikes were just cutting cars off. Cars had to be careful. There was no traffic lights. Like, a lot of places had no traffic lights. And it's just, it was just chaos. It was honestly just chaos. And on top of it, dude, that, that wasn't even during rush hour. When he got into rush hour times, it was even worse. It was worse. Like, I know you guys know I'm not talking. Like, like you guys know it's the truth, man. The traffic in the Philippines is pretty bad. I really, like, what I keep saying, I really do hope that they make, like, a transit, like, subway, underground transit, just to get some of these people off the road, man. Like, and I think that will help the Philippines so much. So let's hope that Duterte can put that transit, a train system underneath. And not the above ground one, the underneath one. Hopefully he can do that, man. All right, let's keep watching. And anybody care? Ain't nobody got time for that. This guy just read right, right over there. This guy's coming. Ain't nobody waiting for them. Holy shit! <laughs> Hope I don't get hit by a car. And to be honest with you, I am only actually just walking. Whenever I see people walk, that's what I'm walking. I'm yep. trying to come across with myself. I see someone walking. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. That's exactly what I did. I'm about to pull up the same place where uh, I don't know if you guys watch Flying Kel. Oh my God, Flying Kel. Same uh, park. So Flying Cow is still here. I'm at your part, man. Flying Cow was one of my biggest like inspiration. I actually really enjoyed watching Flying Cow's vlogs. Um, I went on his channel. He hasn't posted in like almost six months now. So I don't know what's going on with Flying Cow. Maybe he's sick. Maybe something happened to him. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys know what happened to Flying Cow's. And also let me know if you guys watch Flying Cow's, okay? Well, one of your parts. Just because I watched your vlogs through Flying Cow. Right. You see how something like this? This is more of what I like, man. See, peaceful, yeah. it's quiet. 
There's not a lot this of cars. This is Park. Thank God they blocked off from here. I'm gonna try to set up somewhere. I thought this was really nice. Drone and like no one could find me. Cause honestly, I think the last time I flew my drone by the bay, this was really nice. I honestly saw the Coast Guard pull up. I was like, wait. Did it come because someone reported that, that someone's flying a drone or something? I because felt I like they actually scared. did. I packed up my stuff and I got out of there super quick. These shots, these shots right here, honestly, watch these shots. I really enjoy these shots. These are some really nice shots from the Philippines, especially at Resident Park. A lot of you guys told me, yo, Kevo, this is an amazing shot. You should, one of my friends said I should sell this. But well, let's watch. And the music was good too. I think, look at this. That is super cool, but I think we definitely need to get closer to this. Check this out a little better. I need to see the point Let's of this, but closer. whatever, man. Look at this shot. This is a dope shot. Watch the birds. Look at that. Oh, that was clean. I was just glad it didn't attack my drone, man. This looks so clean. So clean. Kinda glad I got that shot. And this one right here. Woo. Perfect the music. Woo! Okay, we just pulled up in some garden. I'm not, I I saw it. It said no entrance fee. So like, okay, no entrance fee. I definitely gotta check this out because anything free is good, right? Right? Anything right? free, anything right? Free is good. I thought this place was pretty cool. I clearly watched way too much Casey Neistat and Peter McKinnon trying to be all fancy and stuff when I had no idea what I was doing. Marble kind of clean and that stuff. I don't know if you guys know where this is. If you guys know where this, comment down below. Let me go, you guys. Know. But yeah, let's check it out. I really let's wish. Actually, out. I really wish I could fly oh my drone. Oh my god! Because I think that'll be a hella dope shot, man. Like having the drone for everything. That'd be pretty sick. Cameras now face me properly. I was still kind of nervous so to vlog in public. Clearly, see police, yeah. cameras lower. Came up to me and said, "Do you have a permit?" I didn't know, but I asked. First, I could fly it and said, yeah, one guy said, yeah, and then another guy came and said, nope, not allowed to fly. So I got to get a permit to fly my drone, at least around here, or to get, not get caught, whichever one. But I think I'm probably going to get a permit. Both of the permits yeah. lost me an arm and a leg. Let me tell you, I did not end up getting a permit. I just didn't fly in the city. I decided, you know what, better safe than sorry. I'll fly when I go to the beaches or go outside to the provinces. So that's what I did, okay? I didn't get a permit, but don't, 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 tell, don't tell me, okay? because I don't know how much I'm actually going to be using the drone when I'm flying here now because I really kind of want to get out of the city of Manila like I want to go somewhere yep. like in the countryside so I'm probably going to take that eight hour bus ride yep. to my uh, friend's house in San Fernando maybe on, uh, where am I going to go? maybe Sunday, Sunday evening I'll probably take a, take a bus ride all the way up there and see if San Fernando is any better than uh, Manila man because honestly, Manila, it just feels like the concrete jungle, man, of the yep. Philippines. And I'm, I'm trying to get away from that right now. I'm actually hoping... Let's see. Oops. I'm actually really hoping that one of my friends, Kinlai, that from the, uh, from the Philippines would actually meet up with me. And Let me tell you, that, that friend kind of disappointed me, never met up. She never met up with me, and I was kind of... For the first day, I was I had to be by myself. A lot of you guys said I should have reached out to some people in the Philippines from like the fans, the comments down below. And I did that. And after after that, that's when I met Jeff. And Jeff was awesome. Thank you, Jeff, again. I always remember Jeff. Like you guys don't know Jeff. I talk about Jeff a lot. Jeff is like the ambassador for the Philippines, man. I'm telling you, a lot of the bloggers, if you watch their vlogs, so watch Juicy Vlogs, watch uh, Mac and Teen, watch uh, Making It Happen. And there's a whole lot more that Jeff has been in their vlogs. Oh, Happiness Crossing, of course. Of course, the Vanessa and Fernando. But a lot of those vloggers, man, 
Jeff has is, been in their videos because Jeff is like the ambassador for the Philippines and he always makes foreigners that anyone coming to the Philippines feel welcome. So thank you, Jeff. There's your shout out, Jeff. Thank you very much. You know who you are, Jeff. Comment down below if you're watching this. And hopefully later on that we can go out and do something fun, man. Because so far, the heat is killing me. Yeah. So I'm actually walking back to the hotel so I can actually edit this video and hopefully you guys can enjoy it. So I don't know if you call it my first impressions of Manila, but I feel like it's not gonna be a fair impression of Manila, but whatever, yeah. man, we'll see, we'll see. I will say that people in Manila are super friendly. Like everyone seems to be like in a rush to go somewhere, but they'll actually take the time and sit down with you and talk to you. That's what I see at least, I don't know. I'm just saying, they, they seem super friendly. And even when I was flying my drone, a lot of people are coming up to me saying, oh, what are you doing? Uh, taking pictures on, on video, because I'm a YouTuber. And they're like, oh, YouTuber, what's your channel? I'm like, I give my channel, it's Kevo. So hopefully getting a few new subscribers. <laughs> and if you guys who were actually out there when I was flying. So this is the channel. This is the I'll be your friend. That was funny. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so that was my, uh, I guess, first impression of Manila. And watching this video actually it makes me reminisce a little bit, man. It makes me really miss there more and more. Like, I found myself watching these videos, even off camera. I just sit down watching my vlogs, man. But my first impression of Manila, as you guys can see, was hot, okay? It was hot, and I wanted to get out of Manila, man. I really want to go somewhere in the country because I wanted a beach. I think in my next vlog, I was like, anyone know where a pool is or a beach, man? I was kept asking in every single vlog, I need to find a pool, I need to find a beach. But during my visit, man, I like decided, yo, my hotel did not have a pool, so I had to find a pool. So I ended up switching to a different hotel that had a pool. And yeah, it was, it was a lot better, man. And I also, as the vlogs go on, I started to meet more friends and make more friends, and it really turned out to be a really great trip, all right? So anyways, if you guys want me to check out more videos, do a little breakdown of what my thoughts were in the moment, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do more videos like that. And yeah, if you guys made it all the end of the video. You guys know what to do, man. Give the video a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, turn that post notification bell on, and we'll catch you guys in the next one, all right?